So this question says, which ordered pair x, y satisfies the system of equations shown above? So this is a simplify question. We know that because it is short, right? Simplify questions are typically one to three lines long. And we know that because we're provided in this case with a system of equations that can be simplified. So I'm going to also kind of as a subcategory here, say system of equations. Now, typically, when you have a system of equations question, you're going to be thinking about two processes. One is uh, elimination. Elimination is when you do whatever you can to eliminate one of the variables and then combine the two equations together and solve for the remaining variable. The other process is substitution. So we have elimination and substitution are the two main processes. Now, what we can do with this particular question because of how it's worded, I'm gonna show you something that's a little non-traditional. Right, these are things that you learn in school and they are useful on this test and we will see them in the videos that I make. But on this particular question, we can also use another strategy called plug-in answers or PIA. Now, how do you know that you can use plug-in answers as a strategy? Well, it's when the answer choices all represent the variables that are located in the question, right? So choice A, for instance, is saying that X is equal to negative three and Y is equal to zero. So what I'm gonna do is just check each answer choice across the system of equations to see if, uh, if they work. So I'm gonna have, for instance, for choice A, if X is equal to three and Y is equal to zero, that would mean that my first equation, which says x equals y minus three, let's check to see if that's true. Is it true that three equals zero minus three? Well, that's actually not true because that would say that three equals negative three, and that is not true, so choice A is gone, right? There's no need to try this second equation here because in order for answer choice A to be correct, it must work in both scenarios, both equations. So let's try choice B. Well, B says when X is equal to zero, Y is equal to positive three. So let's try that. So again, is it true that X equals Y minus three? Well, let's see. I'd have in this case, zero equals three minus three. That is true. Now let's check the other equation. So is it true that X divided by two plus two times Y is equal to six? And again, in this case, I'd have zero over two plus two times three is equal to six. And because zero divided by two is just zero, and two times three is six, this is absolutely true. And because this is the math section and we can't have multiple correct answers, I'm gonna say that because of that, choice B is a correct answer and we're done with this question.